and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up, everybody? And welcome to this video. Uh, we're gonna, it's just a small rant, break it down, some issues, uh, a few things in the news, um, a few topics, and you know, that I just want to break down. This is kind of a short video, it's, it's a rant, you know, just doing a video for a fuck of it. Now, I was here that I've been watching a few black uh, YouTubers. Um, some I agree with, some I disagree with. And as I look at their videos, it's been this discussion about what it means to be pro-black versus pro-coon arguments that's been made on black YouTube mainly. Mainly black YouTube. It's just been, and social media in general. Social media has been discussing about how you're supposed to be as an African-American. And I respect a p different people's opinions about how you're supposed to act as a black American, what is being pro-black and pro-coon. Appropriation and all these other um, different terms that's used on social black social media, stuff that I really never heard about. Now, I'm going to break down pro-black and pro coon. I think that I'm gonna do this in three parts. I know there's some parts I've skipped, but I'm gonna break down a few topics on that real quick. Now, being pro black, let's, let's start from pro black. Being we have three subgroups in the black community, as I did my research. That's pro black. I guess Uncle Tom, and your average African American. African American, middle of the road black person. They don't, they can take or leave it, you know. Now, in society, black people would like to assimilate into American society. That's fact. Don't nobody black, and I, I know this isn't going to sound popular, but as if you're an American citizen, no matter if you're Indian or green or black, you want to make money. That's the American dream. Flat out, everybody wants to make money. At the end of the day, it's all about money. That's how America is founded, founded on money, basically. So you want to be successful. We all thought to be be successful in this world, whether you're rich, whether you're middle class, even poor. You want to thrive to that, that point of success in being something, and you want your children to go to college. Um, is that Uncle Tommy? That's the question to most people. Is that Uncle Tommy? The answer is no. Because in society, you do have to make money. You do want to get wealthy. You do want to get rich. You do want to be very educated. Uh, now, what is Uncle Tommy? Uncle Tommy is kissing white people's ass when you don't need to kiss ass. Selling out black people. Uh, you know that racist stuff happens and you pretend racism doesn't exist. Or you let certain racist things go by and you're not proud of your race. You're always self-hating yourself, self-hating other blacks. Or you say blacks are too stupid and you're you're the same color as the black person. So they're not really criticisms, they're just put-downs. You never find them positive. Now, pro-black supposedly is black people that love their race. They love, their, like myself, I love my race. I love the arts. Uh, I like theater, black theater. Um, I like black experience of uh, I like uh, black history I my I have a degree in black history so I love the black experience of discussing black history pyramids uh, black accomplishments black businesses etc that's pro-black that's pro-black um, being pro-black to me talking about different black issues pro-black per se doesn't mean that you go after Uncle Tom's because I really don't try to go after Uncle Tom's a lot you know I know in some of my videos I've said stuff about because I guess I've seen other black YouTubers and so I think I thought that was maybe the way to go maybe go after Coons but that still doesn't prove that you're pro-black because you don't like an Uncle Tom now you have the middle of the road African American where they could take it or leave it you know they're just trying to work they're trying to raise their kids uh, they know they're black. They're not really an Uncle Tom, but they're not really a pro-black either. But they could take either or and leave it because at the end of the day, they're trying to make it. You know, they're trying to make it in society. If they get successful, they love their, they recognize their ethnicity. But at the end of the day, they're uh, still middle of the road. You know, you got different sort of black, a lot of black people that think that well, not every black, black person is pro-black. Not, pro, not every black person is a coon. At the end of the day, those two things I mentioned is 
basically an ideology. Those are ideologies at the end of the day. So it's not really like being a conservative or Republican, basically. So, you know, those are just two ideologies. You don't have to be either or, but you could just be a regular person in society. You could tilt either or. You have some African Americans that could go either or. Some, I hate to say that because I've worked around a lot of them, been black all my life and being raised in black neighborhoods. I've met, talked to dozens of black people over the years where some are not even pro-black or even coon. They take bits and pieces from maybe the coons. They may take some sort of point of view from a coon maybe, and then they may take a point of view from a pro-black that they deem appropriate for the situation and they use it, if I make sense. So that's basically uh, where you have the average middle of the road black person, because not everybody person has that kind of ideology. At the end of the day, most black people, I think even, I don't know about coons, but middle of the road blacks and pro-blacks, nine to the 10, we don't like racism. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody wants to get treated like shit. I think that you want to be uh, get jobs and work. Uh, you want your kids to go to college, so you don't want them to deal with racist police officers stopping you or going into towns and you're not welcome into the city. I think nobody black wants to go through that at the end of the day. But we get into these terms, what is a coon, what is a pro-black? Some Uncle Toms have said that, you know, oh, I talk proper, so... How am I a coon? Well, you could talk proper and be a, still a coon. You could talk pro, uh, proper and be an ignorant roast. Uh, 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 um, what you call it? Like, uh, 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 what you call that? Like Tariq Nasheed be roasting and the, uh, ignorant roaster like Tariq Nasheed or something like that. He's very ignorant. Tariq Nasheed is an ignorant guy. So he's, uh, if you have Tariq Nasheed maybe in a, uh, some other Joe Blow coon, out there and the coon way say something. So just because you're pro-black doesn't mean that you're proper either. So you have some pro-blacks that are over the top, just like you have some coons. So, but again, at the end of the day, those are ideologies. Uh, Tariq Nasheed, he's an example. He's an example of being an over the top black. He has did puppets, he's made puppets, racist puppets about another black person. Um, even though it was funny, but he's still, he's African-American making those kind of, of shorts and sketches. And Why is he making it? Because he's upset at another black person. Which is understandable because the black person he's mad at is a devout coon. But, you know, that's just the immaturity in our race. So, you know, I'm not going to go into that part. I'll say that for another video. But at the end of the day, there was the ideologies. Coon, Uncle Tom... And pro-black are all ideologies. Pro-black is vague, though. To be honest with you, pro-black, you could go into any zone with that. Some people use it as a slander, like armchair revolutionary. I know why people use the term pro-black or those pro-blacks, because some pro-blacks are, um, what did you call that? They're very, very hypocritical. A lot of pro-blacks are very hypocritical. A lot of pro some pro-blacks are full of shit, just like some ministers, just like even some Uncle Tom. So... Not everybody that has that ideology is per se a con or it's a bad guy. So I know that uh, all sides are guilty of bullshitting at the end of the day. So, but as far as being pro-black, so it's a very vague, vague ideology. I mean, it's very big, it's broad. So when you say pro-black, how do you classify it? I just told you my classification of pro-black. Um, maybe you guys have other classifications of pro-black. You could leave it at my uh, comment section or maybe do response videos or whatever. But let's break this down, people. Peace out.